Hi, creative friends. If wood burning, also known as pyrography, is something that interests you, I strongly recommend you giving it a try. Today I'm taking this curb shopped flip stool and creating a wood burn floral design to add interest to the seat. Uh, this is a total 101 beginner's tutorial because, well, I'm a total beginner. <laughs> but I'm also including seven tips for wood burning because it's a really easy art to learn. This is one of those times I like to say, if I can do it, you can do it. So here's how it all came together. Let's start. Here's the fun part. <music> I started by cleaning this stool because it was actually found curbside and then it sat in my garage for a few months so it did need a really good cleaning. I used white lightning which is a TSP substitute making sure the top, bottom and underneath were spotless. You can see how dirty this piece really was. Uh, my sister was helping me with this design, so we picked a stencil. I pulled out about six different stencils and tried them on for size. My sister Andrea liked this floral one the best. I have to admit, I'm glad we didn't go with anything more intricate. Uh, for a first time wood burner, this large stencil design worked perfectly. If we had picked something with more detail, we would have been wood burning all day. <laughs> I've included the cost and time breakdown at the end of this video. So we started by tracing the design. Once we had positioned the stencil on the seat and liked the placement, we traced the design onto the seat just using a pencil. Uh, whatever you trace your design on with, just make sure you give it a lift and make sure that the pencil, marker, or whatever you decide to use is visible on whatever project you're working on. Now for the fun part, the wood burning tool. I picked up this wood burning tool at Hobby Lobby a good few years ago. It was selling for $29.99, but I had a 40% off discount. So it was such a great deal. Um, it comes with a stand to hold the hot pen and when it's not in use and a variety of tips to get a different look. Because I had never tried any of these tips or wood burning, I started on a scrap piece of wood. Uh, the rounded tip is the one that we like the best, so that's the one we decided to use on the folding stool. I do suggest practicing before you start on your actual piece or project, uh, just so you kind of get the hang of how the pen feels in your hand and how the different tips work. To burn the stencil design into the seat, Andrea and I took turns following the penciled lines. Uh, I found it much easier to control with a light touch and also moving the pyrography pen slowly while letting the heat do the work is key. It's actually a really meditative process. Uh, you cannot rush it. And obviously you have to pay attention to what you're doing because safety first, you wanna work in a well-ventilated area. And of course you do not wanna burn yourself. So you really have to focus on what you're doing. But I found it extremely relaxing. We also found that moving the tool towards us, so pulling the tool rather than moving it away from us, pushing the tool makes a big difference. Um, so depending on which way the grain of the wood is lined up with your design, you may find one way is much easier than another. Another tip that made a big difference in the smoothness of the design was making sure that our arms and hands had something to actually rest on. If you're able, rotate your project so your arm and or hand has a really sturdy surface and then your design will turn out that much more smooth. 
While using the tool, we also noticed that some carbon or black soot residue would accumulate on the tip. So wiping it off on a scrap piece of wood, or in my case, I just used my work table because it's already a mess, <laughs> but wiping it off on a scrap piece of wood or your work table before continuing the design will make the burning a whole lot smoother. So before I share the big reveal, here are seven tips for wood burning a design onto your furniture or wood project. Number one, safety first. Work in a well-ventilated room and wear a mask. Uh, it's best to find a quiet space where there's no children or pets could tip the tool over. Uh, and also never leave the tool unattended and always unplug it when it's not in use. Be careful because it is super, super hot. Number two, pick a design that matches your wood burning experience. In our case, we chose a large floral design. Number three, practice on a scrap piece of wood or the back of your project. Testing out the different tips uh, will make, it will give you a good idea of which will work best for your design. Number four, burn towards you for better control. This will make your design a whole lot smoother looking. Number five, rotate your project so you actually have something to rest your arm or hand on. Number six, Take your time, and you're really not going to have a choice with this. <laughs> You'll notice that you cannot rush the process because the wood just burns at its own pace. So take your time, enjoy, listen to some music, or in my case, it was some good sister, sister friend time. Number seven, press lightly. Um, because you just have to let the tool do the work. Pressing hard really will make no difference when using this pyrography pen at all. It, it just, you'll get the feel of it and it do, just does its own thing. Um, and as a bonus tip, make sure you remove the carbon or the black soot that accumulates. And um, if you're really into this craft, I would buy the best tool kit that you can afford. Uh, this was just a cheapy Hobby Lobby craft pen tool kit that I got, but it still was a whole lot of fun. This project took three hours from start to finish. So that's starting with the cleaning and all the way till the finished look. The cost of the pyrography tool kit was uh, $29.99, but 40% off. So $18 from Hobby Lobby with the 40% off coupon. And the stencil, I believe, was around $20. Um, again, obviously all these tools are going to be used over and over and over again. So it's not really the cost of this because the stool was curb shopped and free. Um, but just to give you an idea, uh, I hope this is helpful. So here's the before. And here's the end results. I'm super happy. I stepped out of my comfort zone to try something different. But Andrea and I were having a little giggle saying we kind of have mixed feelings about the finish. <laughs> um, from a distance, it kind of looks like we used a Sharpie to draw it on. But then when you come in and you take a closer look, you can see that the stencil design has actually been burned into the wood. So I can't wait to hear what you think. Uh, please leave a comment down below. If you have any tips on how to do wood burning, I would love to hear them because I love learning from you guys. Like I mentioned, this is definitely a beginner's tutorial. So if you have any tips for me, I am all ears. I hope you have a fabulous day and we'll see you again soon. So I hope you enjoyed this makeover. If so, feel free to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment down below because I cannot wait to hear what you think. Also, feel free to follow me on all my socials and over at salvagedinspirations.com where I have over 500 furniture painting tutorials teaching you how to make your furniture beautiful. Also have DIY projects to help you stage and style your furniture and also your home. So until next time, stay safe, 
Oh, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit that bell. I think you guys are probably so sick of hearing that. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> All right, have a great day. See you next time. Bye, guys.